Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Come on, what are we going to do? Hey, why? Hello, Lucia, you're not supposed to be here yet. You're supposed to be here in half an hour with your team. So this is not a time yet? No, not yet. So you, uh, I'll see you at 11.30 with the rest of your team. Yes, 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 yes teacher. I, I will go, I will go. But okay. wait, 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 teacher. Can you repeat this? Yes. Can you repeat uh, this? Eleven thirty. I got it. Bye bye. See you soon. Okay. Hello, everybody. How are we today? I'm good. That's good. Thank you for joining us, Star. So I'll get the debate rules to you uh, today. Uh, so we've got. Let me have a look here. We've got Jenny and Jelly. So we need Edna. And... Hello. Teacher, I see uh, I see you change your avatar and you look so strange. <laughs> uh my my oh, do you mean my my profile picture? Yeah, that's right. Yeah, um, I'm borrowing the KBN account so I can record these lessons because Miss Duke's been very busy lately. So she let me use this account to record for her. Okay, so the main thing that I want to use today for is to just check your progress and make sure that you guys will all be ready for Friday. So I'm going to share my whiteboard. And okay. So let me find your page in my book here. Okay, so Okay, should playing video games be considered a sport? This is the proposition team. Uh, yes, it should. So have you guys been uh, meeting up with your team and uh, making plans, coming up with arguments? No one is ever online. I see stars um, put a tick up. Good. I don't see anyone online, so we can't chat to each other. Uh, well, send each other a message to try and arrange uh, a meeting for a time you can all be online. Um, so yeah, so this will, uh, so getting your team together, it will take a bit of organizing and planning but it most definitely can be done. Uh, so, or well, first of all, we'll start with your team lineup. We've got two teams of four. So first up, have you guys decided who's going to be speaking first? J 
Jelly or Jenny, have, uh, has your team worked out who's going to be speaking first? I think they're not ready. Uh, well, if that's the case, you, let's use today to get ready. So you guys will still have two days to get all of your, get all of the work done. It still can be done. So let's uh, take advantage of this time you've got with me and I'll help you set everything up. Very quiet. So, uh, Star, have you, uh, how are you going with writing your arguments to present yeah. during the? Yep. It's good. Good, 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 good. 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 Very good to hear. Teacher, can you wait, Edna, to be here in five minutes? Edna will be here in five minutes. Yeah, just five minutes. Oh, it's so fun. I call her. Ah, uh, no worries. Because yeah, I, I just sent a message to the to the Zalo group in yeah. To I just sent a message to the Zalo group asking if her and Chips were joining. Okay, Jenny Jelly, are you there? Yes. <laughs> so, have you worked out with your teammates the order that you guys will be speaking? No, we haven't because no, no one chat in Zalo. I call them, but they don't chat. They don't know. Okay, well, let's get it worked out now. So, uh, the first person to answer me gets to pick their. Yeah, the the first person who answers me gets to pick their spot. So, Jenny or Jelly, what position would you like to speak on? Anyone? Oh, I, I think that um, I could be, I, I, I think I'm perfect for the second speaker. Okay, so Jenny is going to be second speaker. Very good. Jelly, would you, uh, which speaker would you like to be for the team? Hello, Edna, welcome. So uh, we've got those whiteboards in the Zalo group that explain the responsibilities of each of our team speakers. So, uh, terrific. Okay, so um, first speaker uh, has to introduce the team line, uh, agree with the motion, and uh, introduce yet yeah, the arguments that their teammates will be making as well as making their own arguments, but no rebuttals. Third speaker uh, has to rebut the arguments of the previous speaker from the opposing team. 
and add more arguments to their team's case and provide evidence. And the final speaker will have to summarize the team's case. And yeah, the, the, uh, the final speaker has to summarize the team's case and deliver a closing argument. So which of those jobs would uh, each of you like to do? Edna, Jelly and Chips will be here shortly. Hello, teacher. Hello, Chips. Welcome. So we're just trying to get your team order sorted out now. So we've got first speaker, third speaker, and final speaker up for grabs. Who wants to be what? First come, first serve. So yeah, let me help you guys get ready if you are struggling with what to do. Do. Let me help. That's what I'm here for today. So I still want to go over your arguments and give you some strategies about what to do next to prepare yourselves. So let's make use of these 18 minutes we've got left, guys. Come on, somebody say something to me. Chips, which speaker would you like to be on the team? Um, maybe the first speaker. Okay, Chips is going to open the team. Very good. We've got and Jelly. I the host of the meeting. <laughs> Pardon? And I am the host of the, of the, of the proposition team. Ah, uh, you're hosting your proposition team's meeting. Good. Well, you guys better hurry up and get it done so you have time to write your arguments. Uh, so I've got Edna and I've got Jelly. Who would like to be the third speaker? Who would like to be the, the final speaker? Yes, Jelly? I don't know what difference between third speaker and final speaker. So uh, because we have a team of four for this debate, the third speaker is just going to act like a second speaker. So their job will be to deliver more arguments and present more evidence for their team and to rebut against any arguments made by the previous speaker on the other team. And in this team, the final speaker will be like a normal third speaker who summarizes their team's case and offers closing statements. Okay. I think I will be a third speaker. Third speaker, done. So that means Edna is going to offer closing arguments. Very good, guys. Now, have we considered uh, any arguments for your side of the debate? Mm -mm. Can I say it? Uh, if uh, so, you uh, so because you're not part of the team, you don't have to if you don't want to. But if you would like to help out and offer some arguments, you are more than welcome to, Star, if you would like to. Yeah. Okay, let's hear what you've got. Why do you think playing video games 
should be considered a sport? Oh, the basic tenet of any sport is competition. Uh, a good. team or individuals compete against another team or individual. And game have that. So I think game should be considered a sport. Very good, Star. Very good, Star. I like how you're thinking. Um, I'll, I'll offer uh, an argument as well. I'll come up with one. So, whoop, need to learn how to spell first. So playing video games requires a lot of the same skills as playing traditional sports like fast reflexes and regular training to improve your skills. So we've already got a couple of arguments on the board there, guys. Uh, if you are struggling to think of other ideas, please feel free to jump on Google and search things like, why should playing video games be considered a sport and you should get uh, some good results that can help you think of some arguments. So jump on that now, guys. Let's start thinking up some reasons because we've got, uh, I want everyone on the team to have about two arguments, two to three arguments. So we still need uh, another few. And then I also need to uh, tell you guys what to do next to get ready. So jump on the Googles and let's start looking for reasons. So I've just searched that up. Why should playing video games be considered a sport? And I've already seen lots and lots and lots of uh, good options, uh, good, good links to some arguments pop up. So let's start thinking of your arguments. Teacher, yes. I only see a white line across the screen. Yes, because I have put my... Uh, yeah, because I have put my 
whiteboard at the bottom of my screen so I can start looking for some good articles to look for reasons. There are lots, there are lots of very good. Box of milk. Good. So now you've finished your box of milk, you can focus on thinking up reasons for your debate. We've got two. We need at least another four. Ah, uh, good. So I will think it. You don't even really need to think up reasons. You can just jump on the internet and find them. But let's at least get some reasons going, guys. Let's come up with some arguments. You can you can learn some more about focusing from video games. Okay, very good. Actually. I'm going to start this list again. So, one, Oh, uh, teacher, can you hear me? I can hear you, Jenny, yes. Okay. Okay, so we need some more arguments. Come on, I'm, he I'm, I'm here to help and I'm happy to do it, but I'm not going to do the work for you. So far, the only two people to provide arguments are not even on the team. Let's hear something from Chips, Jenny, Edna and Jelly. We need arguments. Like I say, you can jump onto Google and search up your topic or search up your side of the debate and you'll get lots of good yeah. um, resources. Many video games require a high degree of skills, practice and strategic thinking. Players can compete against each other to organize tour tournaments. You must read in their abilities and the location. I found it on Google and Okay. So playing video games competitively requires a lot of dedication. Good. Okay, so we've got a third one. Let's hear another argument. We're doing good, guys. We need another few. You could be smarter if you play video games. So, you play educative video games. 
We're like not guess the math answer in Roblox. Ah, uh, we need to we need to keep the argument to do with video games being a sport. But I like that you're thinking about reasons. But we need those reasons to be why should video games be a sport? I'm playing video games on Sony teamwork and communication, just like other traditional sports. Very good. Uh, Okay, so what we can probably do, and I'll leave this up to you guys to decide, but you could probably take these arguments, so number two and number four, and you could probably stretch those out to, uh, you could make fast reflexes an argument, you can make intense concentration and focus and uh, a separate argument and you can make regular training to improve your skills a separate argument. So from number two, you could stretch that out into three arguments, but we need to make sure that we are able to provide enough information and evidence to be able to make a three minute speech per speaker on the team. So if you think you can do that, then we have all of our arguments here and we can move into what we need to do next. So do we want to think of any more reasons or do we want to move on to what we need to do next? We will debate. <laughs> Very good, but before we debate, the team still has to get all of their, their speeches written and do all of their research and get their evidence. So they've still got a bit of work to do before the debate. So does what I've just written make sense to everybody? You can stretch arguments two and four out into several separate arguments if you use one skill listed per argument. Does that make sense? Yes. Good, okay. Okay, so we have two minutes left, guys, before I've got to kick you out and invite the other team in. In the chat box. Very good, Jenny. Chips, good. Okay, so I'll add. Okay, good thinking, Chips. I like that. Okay, so we've got... <laughs> okay, so let's move on to 
what we need to do next. So you guys will have, and let me send, whoop, Ahan uh, Bui and Vugia Khan, can you just jump out of the conversation for another five minutes or so? I'll send a message in Zalo when I'm ready for everyone to join. Um, oh. Okay, teacher. Thank you. Okay, so let me find my notes on what you guys need to do. Okay. So, next thing we need to discuss is what to do next. So, number one, You need to decide which team member will deliver which argument in the debate. So we've got our team order. So now we just need to figure out uh, which, yeah, now we just need to figure out which, um, which arguments you're all going to deliver. Okay, so start looking for research and evidence for your arguments. Uh, if you cannot find evidence for your arguments, please do not use them. Uh, I will not. Uh, I will not grade. You, uh, I will not mark you very favorably for presenting evidence. Uh, for not presenting evidence. Sorry. The evidence will be me. I play video games every day. <laughs> Well, try and find some research to back up your personal stories. Okay, uh, number three, and this is an important one. Keep in touch with your teammates. Oops, I'll move that one. Yeah. So you may find evidence that helps out one of your teammates or they may find some for you. Also help your teammates if they are struggling. Okay, and finally, number four, is write your arguments, include your evidence, and get ready to debate. Okay. 
Now, this one is probably one of the most important things I'm going to write on the board. So I'm going to put it in all capitals. And this is how important it is, guys. I'm going to put a whole two rows. So of, much. Yeah, that's how important it is. Like that's how important it is, guys. So keep in contact with Edna. She is your final speaker. And her job is not to introduce new arguments. Her job is to summarize what the rest of you have said. So keep in contact with Edna, let her know what you have, what arguments you're using so that Edna can summarize your case as well as possible. That is important for you guys. Okay, so you have your, you have your arguments, or we've come up with your arguments, you know what you need to do next. So proposition team, uh, you guys can, Thank you for taking that screenshot, Jenny. So yeah, I'm going to, I'll also post these in your proposition group so you can all have access to these. Uh, but for now, uh, Chips, Jenny, Jelly and Edna, you guys can jump out of the conversation and I need to have a meeting now with the opposition team. Hi, teacher. Hello, Emma. Um, goodbye, teacher. Goodbye, guys. I'll see you on Friday for your debate. Okay. Hello to the opposition team. How are we today? Oh, I should say. Why is the chips leaving yet? Pardon? Chips, you need to leave. This is private meeting for the okay. other team. See you on Friday. Okay, so we've got David and Emma. We need Lucia and Ben to join. So I'm just going oh, to... Have, yeah. Okay, whoop. That was all in capitals. Okay. So Ben should hopefully be joining us shortly. We've got David, Emma, Lucia, and because Star is my helping uh, judge and mediator, um, Star is here to sit in on the meeting. So David's just sent in a message, guys, saying that he's been struggling to get in contact with his teammates. So we're going to spend this meeting today uh, just checking up on your progress and helping you guys lay out your arguments so you know uh, Peter, what- you... where's Ben? Uh, I've sent him a message in the Zalo group. Hopefully he should join in soon. Okay, so let's get your whiteboard set up here. It's considered a teacher. Pardon? It's considered. Hello. Is it right? Oh. 
Hello, Ben. Welcome. Okay, so we are the opposition team. So our argument is no, it should not. So first of all, let's start with the team lineup. Teacher, I, I have more experience with the first speaker. Can, can you make me the first speaker? You beat me to the question, Ben. Good job. So um, we are going to now Is assign the first team speaker roles. David, teacher? Oh, have you guys already assigned your, your team speaking roles? Or is this something you still need to do? Oh, sorry, that was David that requested it, wasn't it? Silly me. Who would like to go second? Who would like to be the second speaker for your team? Not me. Okay, Lucia, would you like to be I third or be fourth third. speaker? I like third. I like third. Okay. Okay, so when you say third speaker, do you mean you would like to summarize your team's case or would you like to uh, have the same job as the second speaker? What is the second speaker's job, teacher? I, I, I'll have the same job as the second speaker. Okay, so you would just like to be the third person to speak. Okay, so the second speaker and in this debate, the third speaker have the same job and their job is to, I should be able to explain this, I just went out of my head. So their job is to rebut any arguments made by the previous speaker on the other team. And they need to introduce more arguments and evidence to make their team's case stronger. Uh, so in this instance, so yeah, in, hang on, let me go. But it's saying that his name is first opposition speaker. And so normally first speaker introduces. Yeah, did we him. change roles? And so I'm just gonna quickly write this here. So introduces team line. Finds the motion. Introduces arguments and evidence. That's why I have more, more experience with the first speaker. Good, Ben's already changed his name. Good job. So second speaker. Rebuts arguments from opposition. Teacher. Teacher. Hang on two seconds, Emma. Uh, so delivers closing statements. Let me finish this and then I will answer your question for you, I promise. Okay, so does that make sense to everybody, what I've written there? Yes, but I just yeah. wanted to ask, what does the final speaker do? Uh, the final speaker summarizes the team case and delivers closing statements. Okay. So team line up. Then teacher, can I be second? 
you can. So we had David as the first speaker. We had Lucia as the second. And Emma wants, uh, Lucia was third, sorry. Emma wants to be second. So that leaves Ben. You're going to be closing out your team's arguments. Okay. Yes, but really, I have the least experience with the. Wait, am I getting that mixed up? Was Ben supposed to be first and making David final? I think you just said in the little group that David first, um, me second, and really? me after. Oh, um, that was, uh, so that list in the Zalo group, that was me just listing your teammates. That was not me assigning team roles. So. I, just, I don't really know. Oh, okay, so. Ben wants to go first. David fourth. Are we happy with this team lineup? Yes. Yes. Me too. Very good. David, are you yeah, happy with the lineup? Okay, but I don't know what to speak because I can't get contact with everyone in my team. No worries. So um, what we're going to do now, so we'll talk about that in, in a little bit. Um, teacher, uh, is Star the judge, like the judging so panel? Yes, yeah, so Star is going to help me judge and she's also going to help me uh, be the interlocutor as well. Okay. So now we've got our team lineup. I can get rid of that. Okay, does anybody have any arguments? Has anybody thought of any arguments for why playing video games should not be considered a sport? Me, I got it. Many okay. Got it. Okay, so what is your reason, Lucia? Because children will play video games every day, day and night and night and day. Okay, so. Very good. Okay. So, uh, Ben, you said you have an argument. What's your argument? You mean the whole the whole paragraph? I, uh, I mean... No, uh, I, I just need the uh, just the the general argument that you've got. So, I think real games should not consider in sport because they would affect their so social anxiety, their social uh -huh. skills, and, and give depression and lack of motivation. So video games can lead to a decline in mental health, depression, lack of social skills, isolation. Whereas traditional sports have the opposite. There was only one page. Very good. David, you have an argument you'd like to present. 
then we play play games, Luigi sing in one place. So that is all not considered a sport and it will affect our play. So it's because video gamers just sit in one spot, did you say? They don't they're not active? Yes. Okay. Good. And it will affect our brain. And our eyes too. Video gamers sit in one spot. Play video games. They can put on weight. Very good. Good thinking, guys. Um, Lucia, do you have another reason you would like to present? No, I have two reasons now. I have two one. reasons. Yes. Okay, I'll, I'll let Lucia speak first and then I'll come back to you, Emma. So, Lucia, what are your reasons? Instead of doing our favorite sports like running, playing with your friends, you should sit inside indoors for some hours and won't come out to play. Okay, so I think that's the same and argument as number three. You just sit down and you're not very active. So what's your yeah. other argument? And sometimes children, children who like to read books may, may, may stop reading books too. So that is a good thought. That's a good idea. But how does children will play video games instead of Teacher. reading books? Teacher. How does that tie into, hang on a second, Emma. How does that tie into video games and um, being a sport? Well, it, it makes make the children bring an outplay until they grown up. They must work hard. Uh, I agree with what you're saying, but it, oh, I just it, it, but it but it's just not connecting with the with with the argument you need to make in the debate. But keep thinking, keep thinking of more ideas. Yes, Emma. Hey, I think video one. games also distract the children from school because each time they come into home, the video game is just on their phone or computer, and they just can't, and they just can't stop playing it. Hey, Emma, you give me an idea. Ch teacher's cupboard will be full of video gamers. <laughs> Why? <laughs> hey, video games. So, teacher's so, cupboard will be full of video games. Yes. Good. So, good idea, Emma. Good idea. But you are still uh, that, or that, that's a very similar argument to number one. Too many children will Why play video Why does Lucia say that long? your cupboard will be filled with video games? No, teacher's cupboard. Well, they have, they have to get <laughs> many video games that they could to stop children from playing them. <laughs> I used to be very, uh, yeah, I, I used to be very, uh, a, a very, very, very avid gamer. I would be, I would play video games Pretty much, I'd get home. I, I, I wouldn't even do my homework. I would just sit there and play video games all day uh, oh, until I went to bed. Hey. And you and you just sit there. Yeah, if, and if so I brother, can say. If you so have brother, I can, you can hide something. A robot, a robot that will do all your homework. <laughs> oh, I wish, but no. Um, that. That led to me falling very far behind in my studies at school. And it was very, very hard for me to catch up. So because everyone yeah. was doing really good. And I was and like well, you sitting well, at home and playing video games. Well, a lot of the <laughs> other students were also playing video games, but they were just <laughs> playing less than me. So they were still doing their homework. They were going out and playing sports and going out and being social, but I'd always just sit there and all I would do was play video games. It was not hey, good. Teacher, 
What about them sinking into our couch? Well, you can know that you can know that the video game I sometimes sit on couch or row to watch, but on the couch can be a little disaster. Okay. You can get trapped so... and sink deep, then then you not be able to crawl out. Oh, oh. So you think so you think people would get stuck in the couch if they played video games for too long? No, not for too long. If they sit there forever and, do, and keep getting fatter, they will suck. <laughs> well, I mean, they would have to get up and go have a shower. They'd have to get up and go get food. They'd have to get up to go to the toilet. There are lots of things that they'd have to get off the couch for. Yes. Well, if you can get fat and keep on, on sitting on the couch, sometimes the Sometimes you will, you will, you, the cat will go to your waist. Oh, my. Okay, so I am going to, uh, I'm going to give you guys a Each reason. Way. Yeah, I'm going to give you guys a reason to help out. Okay. So... So, all right, so my argument is when playing traditional sports, both players or teams have to be in the same location to play. Video gamers can compete over the internet. Oh, I'll change that to... Video gamers can play over the internet, meaning that they can be on opposite sides of the world. This is not sporting. You're just not playing with real people. You're just playing with the people. It's real people, but you can't see them. They're just in another place. Very good. Another side of the country. Ooh. All right, so we've got. Oh, actually, no, I. I'm going to change my argument, the argument that I give you. Let's come up with a better one. So. Have you done? Not yet. So you guys, you guys, are, you guys still need it. You guys still need to think of another four or another, another two reasons. So on each speaker to have at least two reasons, uh, and to be able to speak for about three three minutes and twenty seconds ish. Three minutes and twenty seconds to speak. Yes. I just wanted to ask everyone if they are free this afternoon because I'm just asking so I can make a meeting. If I was just three minutes. Traditional sports have rules that everyone must follow, meaning that you can decide a winner the same way every time. Video game competitions. Uh, judged.
Mm. Okay, I got two reasons. Oh, let's hear them. The first reason is is the, the first reason is mean that your brain will get destroyed. In. Uh as they as they're not used to video games, they video games can leave make the brain unhealthy. And sometimes the brain can draw your body like this kind. Not listening to anyone, being grumpy, and sometimes scowl if they only said one word. Uh, sometimes so that... you can get a little angry and fight them. Your, your brain will get like that if you play video games too much. The second Sorry. one is... The second one is you cannot sleep. At, as in the night, yes, you play too you much. Overexcited about about the video games you're going to play tomorrow. You couldn't sleep, and you want to play it right now. And sometimes you wish it's morning, like like now, like it now. And and you may wake up in the middle of the night. So playing video games too much can disturb your sleeping patterns. Yes, you may dream of playing video game too. That <laughs> will wake you up thinking that it was real. Because you don't want never want to stop because it's like that. It's like that your head's only thinking about video games. You're always thinking about playing it. Yes. And think not thinking about anything about, you, about your studies. You mean that? Okay, so playing video games too much can disturb your sleep your sleeping patterns, whereas playing traditional sports wears you out and helps you sleep better. Good, Lucia. So yes, it will make it an exhausting day, but make you have better sleep. That sleep means rest. As good as. So um, your Sports first reason that you, you gave tired and want to rest. your first reason that you gave was very good, that, but we've yeah. already got it as number two. So yeah, um, as lack of social skills, so makes you grumpy, you can get irritable, you start arguing with people, you don't want to do anything else. Oh yes, and sometimes you wake up in the middle like this. Being That's grumpy. right. So you can we dream if you do that? Can we think of any more reasons? Doesn't anyone got another be done? Nearly done. But you are... <laughs> Okay, so um, we'll move and on now. I we'll think move video on, games and I'll... can also make people sick. You think video games can make people sick? Yeah. Yes. So that would be yeah. in reason three. I know. Video gamers sit in one spot to play video games. They can put on weight and become unhealthy and lazy. Uh, so, all right, so you guys need to think of one more reason. One more. But we're going to move on now because uh, I still have one more whiteboard to show you and talk about. So think of one more reason. So each. <laughs> Okay, so you need to think of one more reason. So each speaker that delivers arguments has at least two arguments each. Um, so 
we've had a good start. Um, but what I will suggest to you guys is. Teacher, I have one. I have one thing. I think video games can make people like. It's like what Lucia said, but I can't. It's like they can't stop playing it because they really like it so much. Because their brain always thinks about it. Okay. I like I like where you're going with that. So got one more reason. Yeah, so video games provide a lot of visual stimulus. Hello, I'm a reason too, and when? Okay, so I'm still going to leave those bottom two uh, bits there. So think of another reason, because if you can't oh, find any evidence for one of your arguments, if you I can't I sent a word in the chat. Oh. Each, I got Ele the word. Electronic addiction, good. So um, I want you guys to still think of another couple of arguments. Just because if you can't find any... That's what I mean for the one you were writing. Yeah. I got it. I, I got one reason. Well, we've got to move on now. Hey, guys, quiet. So I'm, I still want you guys to think of another few reasons. Because um, if in case you can't find I any... I can go to Google if, search. Emma, shush. <laughs> So, uh, in case you can't find any evidence to support any of these arguments, you need to be able to have more arguments that you can find evidence for, uh, because I will be marking part of your grade or part of your score will be based on the quality of your evidence. So you need to make sure you've got good evidence for each argument. Um, now, the last thing I need to go over with you guys is what to do next. Who do it? Remember what? Why why should we use game not consider sport? What keep in contact with Edna? I'm just gonna change that. <laughs> Wait, Edna is not in here. Oh, I know. Uh, did, you, did you use the same the same sentence for the proposition? I did because for this board, everything you've got to do next is exactly the same. So I just need to change the Edna to David and the he and the she's and hers to his and him. Uh, I got another reason now. I got another uh, reason. Well, you can discuss that with your uh, in your team meeting later today. Well, can I send it to the chat? Can I send it to the chat? Uh, you can, but I'm not adding it to the whiteboard because I'm moving on to this now. Um, so what to do next, guys? The first thing you'll need to do once you've come up with a few more arguments is you will need to decide which team member will deliver which argument in the debate. 
So you need to, yeah, so you, you need to work out who's going to present which arguments. Number two, you need to start looking for research and evidence for your arguments. If you cannot find evidence for an argument, do not use it in the debate because I will not score you very well for that. Uh, keep in touch with your teammates because you may find evidence that helps one of them or they, might, or they may find some that helps you. And also uh, help your teammates if they're struggling with their arguments a little bit. You all need to work together. And finally, uh, start writing your arguments, include your evidence and get ready to debate. So those are the four jobs that I've got next for you. And other than that, probably the most important thing is keep in contact with David. He is your team's final speaker and his job is not to introduce new arguments into the debate. So he doesn't he doesn't have to do any research for his own arguments. He doesn't have to write any of his own arguments. His job is to, his job is entirely to summarize what the rest of you have said. So if you're not keeping in contact with David, he's not able to summarize your case. He's not able to make a strong case for you guys to win. So you need to keep in contact with David, especially, but the rest of your teammates as well. That is, a... <laughs> I just noticed Lucia changed her name to teacher Michael. No, I didn't change it to Michael because you just gave me, because you just, <laughs> just gave me that. <laughs> okay, so I'm very gonna good, guys. I'm going to make a meeting this afternoon. Okay, very good. About, so what I'll do is about the, two to four. Well, what uh, what I will do is I'll leave this conversation open for you. Just gonna make sure I save this. So I'll leave this conversation Teacher. open for you now, so that you Teacher. can all make plans. Why hang is on, this? hang on, hang on. So, so I. I'm going to leave this conversation open for you now so you can all make plans with each other to have a team meeting uh, together. Wait, teacher, teacher. Okay, teacher. We'll try our best. Very yeah. good. So when, when, or when? Or you can enter my own meeting. We can have 40 minutes. Teacher. Yeah. When when will we get the argument, the full, full paragraph one? Uh, so, yeah, so that's, so that's your job now. How about entering my own meeting? That's fine. If you want to set a meeting, you can set a meeting with the rest of your team. I think Emma was going oh, to arrange one meeting. for today. Please come and be Pause, afternoon. everyone. Pause. Hang on. Come on, hang on. I am finding my gun. Okay, so I've muted you all, so you have to listen to what I have to say. So um, the next thing to do is work out with each other, have a team meeting together, so you can do the jobs on that second whiteboard. Um, I think uh, Emma or Lucia, you two can work out who's going to host the meeting, but you need to have a meet up. Lucy's already created it beautiful. So you guys can go off and have your meeting um, and you can get to work on those jobs that I've set for you to make sure that your case is ready. If you have any other questions, you can feel free to reach out to me and ask. Uh, I'm happy to answer and help, but I'm not gonna do any of the work for you. So now is the time to make sure your arguments are written Make sure you all know who's going to be presenting which arguments and get all of your teamwork stuff sorted out. So I see a few people with questions. David. So um, now I have many, many work to do, but then I cannot join the Zoom meeting to, to plan 
our plan, debate plan with my teammate. Okay. So 